Good morning! It's now 8.30 in the morning and I just woke up to one of my favorite views in the world. I'm currently in a hut in the mountains, in the middle of the forest and I just thought I would take you along for a day to show you how I spent my days here. And yes, today is actually my birthday and Everson surprised me with a nice breakfast. And if I can give you one tip for your life, it's totally worth it to find a husband who loves cooking and also loves doing the dishes. And whoever is here at the house, we always keep a big bucket of bird food here. So in the morning, I always fill up the food for the birds. Plus, I have a very special friend here. This is Quirrell, and I always bring him a nut in the morning. But actually, since it's my birthday too, he's gonna get two nuts. Oh, there he comes again. There. There he comes again. See him? There. Good morning, Squirrel. Now he's complaining that I'm here. But he will come down in a second. And actually, I'm gonna go leave my phone here so you can see squarely too. <laughs> Mr. Nuts. And then I usually sit down reading next to the fire for a little bit on my iPad mini and I wait for the squirrel to come and pick up her food. And here we have some Edelweiss. It's one of the most popular flowers of the Alps. Honestly, this one we planted here in the garden. I have not seen a wild one in years. The last time I saw one was actually in the Pyrenees in Spain. And here's more knowledge from the mountains. This flower here, here, <laughs> is called a Königskerze. Actually, the day where we should read it is next week on the 15th of August. The more flowers, the more winter we're gonna have, or the more snow we're gonna have. So I'm gonna have a look again next year and let you know if it worked out. <laughs> so now it's 10.30, I'm done feeding my squirrel. I also got a little bit of light work done, just some email and stuff. Because honestly, I'm not a morning person. Actually, I can prove it to you. Look at that. You see this? That's about the mental capacity I have in the morning. So instead I decided to pick up a few ingredients for lunch and that's why I already have my hiking boots here and a knife and I'm also gonna apply some spray against ticks because actually ticks I think are the deadliest animal we have in Austria everything else that crosses the border we just shoot <laughs> and I'm also gonna bring my little rain jacket and my umbrella because it's supposed to rain I think we have to hurry up a little bit. I think the rain is already coming. Yes. We are fine. Here? Yes. Hi. And actually on the way to the mighty mushroom grounds, we can do a little snack. Because that's all wild blueberry bushes. And they're very, very good. And they make your tongue all blue. And I want to show you something funny. Look. That's how birds poop in Austria when they eat too much blueberries. So now it's 11.30 and we just arrived at the mushroom grounds. I'm also equipped now with my mushroom knife and my bag. Because have a look at this. This is called in English, I think, chanterelle, no? But they're very good 
no matter what the name is, I really love eating them and there's a lot of them already hidden here in the bushes. And I always bring a knife to cut them and I also always clean them before I put them in the bag because then it's a lot less work at home. I really like being here in the forest and picking mushrooms is one of my favorite activities ever since I was a child. I just, I don't know, I find it just really relaxing. You just, you're here in the calm forest, there's no one around, no noise, no nothing. You just pick up a few mushrooms and a few meters apart you see more yellow and you just go there and pick up more and this year is really a delight because there's just so many mushrooms. It's amazing. We had really bad floodings in Austria the last few days, so there was a lot of rain. But up here on the mountain, obviously, it has also good sides, no? Yeah. And also, even though it's summer up here, the temperature is actually quite nice. Down in the valley, I think it's 30 degrees today, but we are on 1,500 meters altitude. So I think we have around 15 degrees maximum today. So it's quite pleasant here in the forest. And now I'm gonna go pick more mushrooms so we have something good for lunch. So how many you found? Oh, about uh, half a kilo, I guess. Can I see? Oh, nice. Oh, I think I found the record mushroom. Look at this one, I know. So what have you found? Oh, a lot. Look at that. I think now it's time to go home. Looks like we just got home before the rain came. And look who's also here. It's curly. I'm not gonna go there and bring you nuts now in the rain. Forget it. Forget it. So now let's see who got more. I got... One and a half kilo almost. And Evanson? 600 grams. I won! I won! But he definitely is more lucky now because we have to clean them up. <laughs> I will clean mine. No, you can help with mine too. No, I will clean mine. <laughs> we clean everything together. Thank you. So now it's time to cook lunch and obviously we're gonna use some of our mushrooms. We're gonna make a schwammerl goulash. Yeah, my mom was here last week and she left us some dumpling and my oma left us some kraut cabbage from her garden. So let's go and cook. What's that? And now again is some time to get some work done. So welcome to my mobile office. When you travel a lot, it's actually not so easy to find a comfy place to sit and work. So a while ago, I invested in one of those little laptop tables that I have here on the couch and it actually makes my life a lot easier. And I already wrote my to-do list. So yeah, let's get some work done. As you can see, I'm outside again. It's a few hours later now. I think it's 7.30ish and I got a few hours of work done so that was good but now I need to upload a larger file and it's impossible at the house I mean we have basic phone reception and when the weather permits it's good enough to send a few emails and to basic stuff in the internet but to upload larger files it's literally impossible so I do now what I call my upload walk when I'm here I have to hike to a parking lot it's like, I don't know, 10-15 minutes away and there I have good phone reception. And I actually also always do that when I'm uploading a YouTube video when I'm here. So I hope you appreciate my efforts because it's not always <laughs> as nice as it is now. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's like two meters of snow, but 
I like doing that for you. <laughs> Other than that, I don't have too many plans anymore for today. When I come home, I'm going to start the fire because I'm really freezing. Before that, I have to chop some wood again, but I'm not going to film that because I'm not the most talented wood chopper there is. I still have a lot of mushrooms and I will freeze them. So the next people who come here also have some because mushroom season will be over soon. Usually Evers and me play a round of Rummikrup to see who has to do the dishes tomorrow. And usually it's him. And yeah, then I'm just gonna have a relaxing rest of the day with my husband, but I'm not gonna show you that anymore. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the day with me in the forest as much as I did. It was a pleasure to have you here and I see you in the next video. Bye.